Hello YouTube, Matt here from Team GHQ and I'm going to do a updated profile on my Force of Will Sacred Beast deck. Now of course, our ruler is Prisia, the Beast Lady, her ability is Jayactivate is two win, two win mad win stones, so two win wills. Uh, I could pay mana costs of four sacred beasts with will of any attribute. Uh, two, two greens. Uh, target beast or four sacred beasts gains one hundred plus one plus plus one hundred plus one hundred till end of turn. Uh, J rule side is this card gains target attack as long as I control a light resonator. Swiftness as long as I control a fire resonator, flying as long as I control a war resonator, and plus 200 plus 200 as long as I control a wind resonator. So, if I have all four sacred beasts on the board, it gains F and it gains target attack, swiftness, flying, and is a 1000 1000, which is pretty fun. Uh, God's Art, some of the sacred beasts is free of free wind wells. And X, which is any amount of any attribute. I summon up to X, I search for up to X four sacred beasts with different names, and add them to my hand. Then summon that many sacred beasts. So if I were to pay seven, I could call all four sacred beasts, which is fun. Okay, now for stones, uh, I have four. Come out, sacred beast memorials. Now. When I play this, I need to reveal a beast or four sacred beasts. If I do not, it enters tapped. I tap it for a green mana, that's green well, sorry, wind well, and a wind well, and tap it, target four sacred beasts or beast J resin, J slash resonators, gain plus two, plus two till end of turn. That's pretty sweet. Uh, next, we have two copies of Magic Stone of Gusting, Gusting Skies. Which is uh, which is a dual stone, which is one of green, one of white, one of light. So one of wind, one of light. Magic stone of blasting waves, which is one of green, one of wind, one of fire. And deep wood, which is one of green, one of wind, one of water. I really should stop doing that. I'm an old magic player, so I'll go by that. That's all. Okay, monsters. Now we've got four copies of Zuque. The sacred beast. So he is one will of any attribute and one fire will for a 400 400 with swiftness and when he enters he deals 200 points of damage to target resonator for each four sacred beasts I control. So if you play this guy turn one it deals 200 points of damage to himself but in exchange you're, you're going to swing at your opponent for, for 400 points which is awesome. Next, we've got four copies of Swan Wood, the Sacred Beast. Yeah, I know there's only one stamp, but uh, well. Uh, his ability is when he's placed on the field, I can bounce Target Resonator to my opponent's hand if, if the cost is equal to or lower than the number of four Sacred Beasts I control. And whenever this card blocks, I prevent the damage that will be dealt to him. That I will, I will prevent the next damage will be dealt till end of turn. So that's pretty fun. And he's a 5 7. Uh, Zwa Quinlong. He's awesome. Uh, when he enters the field, if I control another 4 sacred beast, I get to draw a card, which is always fun. Uh, and I pay 1 will of any attribute of 4 sacred beasts, I control gain plus 2 plus 2 till end of turn. So making my sacred beasts even more powerful. Next, I've got 4 copies of By Hugh. Target attack. 6-6, six, six. so I can pick any resonator to attack with, even if they're standing, which is awesome. And his ability is when he enters, I gain 200 life for every 4 sacred beast. Pretty fun. And we've got Prisia, Beast Queen of in hiding. Now, her ability is pretty fun. Now, when she enters, I put an evolution counter onto target creature that, target creature that doesn't have an evolution counter. Uh, if a spell or ability of my of my wood would increase uh, attack or defense, it doubles the boost. So basically, oh, I play a card that gives my pressure here plus four plus four, doubles it to make it plus eight plus eight. Pretty fun. 
And then we got two of the new cards from the from the recent set. The Moonlit Savior, I believe it's called. Hang on. I'll just check real quick for us what set it's from. If I can get it up. What's Ah, the Moonlit Saviour, yep, yeah, the last one in the Alice block, which I was right on. So, Moonlit Saviour, it's a one green, one wind, one fire, and one will of any attribute. So, free drop for a 7 4 with swiftness, target attack, first strike. I could pay a wind, I could pay a wind will to give it flying till end turn. And when this card is put into a graveyard from your field, it deals 500 points of damage to your opponent. So, yeah. And as well, the new super, Huan Long, the leader of the four sacred beasts. When this card enters the field, for each different attribute among all wills spent to play him, I may search my deck, I search my deck for a four sacred beasts that shares the same attribute, that shares the sh same will. So basically, I could go, uh, okay, let's see. Four of any will, so let's go with a, so six drop, so four will and two wind. So two wind, and we go with fire, water, light, and another wind. Search for all four sacred beasts and play them. From my main deck. This card gains plus 100, plus 100 for each four sacred beasts I control, which is awesome. Then we've got the beast queen's guardian, a one drop for a 300, 300. Evolution is a wind and one will of any colour, as long as it's not got an evolution count, I can place one. And if I if I do, it becomes a 6-6, six, six, which is pretty fun. Now, uh, let's go over the spells. Four copies of Sprinted Sacred Beast. Yay, look, all stamped. Pretty sweet. Uh, Jace Lash Resonance, I control game, plus six, plus six to end of turn. So, great way to finish off your opponent real quick. In just one strike because really they don't much they don't really do much on that point uh, four copies of the uh, hang on so CSA the ancient forest there we go I lost the name for a minute uh, beast and four sick beast resonates I control game plus two plus two and whenever a resonate is pointed to the graveyard I may pay two wind and one will of any attribute to draw a card you would have usually used the bottom one. And two copies of another new card, Precious Call to Action. Now, I may pay a wind less to play if I'm targeting a beast. So, pretty much, it's zero cost to play if I'm targeting a beast card. And its ability is Target Resonate gain Swiftness and Target Attack until end of turn, and I draw a card. So, for one, a one drop is pretty sweet. Four card. Two copies of Holy Ground of the Four Sacred Beasts, which is when it enters, I choose one. I choose one of the options. I put a, put a target Four Sacred Beast Resonator from my graveyard into my hand, or draw a card, and I pay one Wind attribute, one Will less, to play Evolution abilities. As long as it's on the field. Two copies of the Beast Queen Scout Chat. Now I love this card because for two Wind Mana. Attributes well, sorry. Toy J slash resonator. I control gains plus 400 plus 400 till end turn. If I were targeting, uh, for example, let me just get the card real quick. If I were targeting Beast Queen hiding with this, uh, I play that makes uh, Prisia for that turn 15 15 till end turn, and then I choose a target. I choose a target opposing J slash resonator, and we deal damage before attacking, so pretty much 15-15 uh, dealing damage to Tai J Resonator after that uh, as soon as the boost is happening hang on, let me read the effect, sorry Target slash J slash Resonator, I control gains 400 plus 400 plus 400 till end of turn then, that card and target J slash Resonator my opponent controls, deal their damage equal to their attack to each other, so that's what I mean, that's what I mean so it's like 15, 1500 uh, pressure dealing. I'll target your big guy. We deal that damage to each other. I kill yours off potentially. And lastly, for, for the regalia, I'm only running 
for the four horned sick beast. Uh, we all know what it does. Tap for a free will. I use this horn to play sick beast and I can tap it if my, my J roll gains plus 200 plus 200 until end of turn. And if it's Prisha, the commander of the four sick beast, which is which is mine, it gains imperishable until end of turn. And banish this card to shuffle the stones in my so shuffle all magic stones from my tire player shuffles all magic stones from his or her graveyard into his or her deck. Then shuffles all the cards from his or her graveyard into a hit into the main deck. So pretty much I can play this, refresh my whole deck. Apart from itself, apart from the card itself. Anyway, that's been my uh, four sacred beast profile. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Uh, check out our Facebook page, the Team GHQ page, our Twitter at Team GHQ YouTube, the Shots Facebook page, Team GHQ, that, sorry, Geek Sec was, and as always, folks, happy gaming.